Many smartphones on sale these days are advertising a display with a higher refresh rate than some people are used to. For years, smartphone displays have maxed out at 60 frames per second, even though many of them were barely able to maintain such performance. But as technology advances, we're starting to see devices on the market advertising a display refresh rate of 90, 120, and sometimes 240 frames per second, or 240 hertz. Now, whether or not your smartphone has the hardware to support these higher refresh rates, it can be important for many of us to know what type of performance our devices are able to put out. And thankfully, there's a feature built directly into Android that will let us know this information for our devices. So in order to find this feature though, we first need to enable developer mode on our smartphone. I have already covered this in multiple tutorials previously. So if you're unfamiliar with how to unhide the secret developer options menu in Android, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll be linking to multiple videos for various devices that can help you get caught up to speed. So pause this video here, and when you're done learning how to enable developer mode, you can come back to this guide. Once developer mode has been enabled, you'll want to dive into the newly created settings menu. And then we're going to locate a toggle labeled show refresh rate. You can find this toggle in the debugging section, which should be toward the top of this list. And right there, it's again labeled show refresh rate. It's a simple toggle that when we turn it on, we can actually see how many frames per second our display is actually performing at. So on my Galaxy S22 right here, I have enabled the adaptive option for motion smoothness. And what that does is it increases the 60 hertz screen refresh rate all the way up to, at most, 120 hertz. Now you can see there are some instances where it is not going to hit 120 hertz, and that is likely due to some throttling that the firmware is doing in order to maintain some battery. You can see anytime we are actually touching the display and scrolling through the menus, we are likely going to be hitting our max display refresh rate hertz, which again is 120 on this device. But again, in order to save some battery, when there is no movement on the screen and we are no longer touching the display, the Galaxy S22 is going to drop down to 24 frames per second. But again, just as you saw in this screen, anytime there is movement, you could see that go to either 60 or all the way up to 120. Now some phones will cap the refresh rate at 60 by default until you go into a setting option, settings option like this and change the setting from one option to another. See, now we have switched down to the lower refresh rate. We are maxing out now at 60 frames per second. We can go right back up to 20 or 120 just by enabling this feature. Now, this feature is not going to be available on all Android devices. Again, both your hardware has to support it and the firmware itself has to support it. And again, some of these phones are maxing out at 90 frames per second or 90 hertz. 
even though they sometimes drop back down to 24 or 60 hertz when there's no movement or activity on the screen. And some of these devices are shipping with displays that support up to 100 or 240 hertz. So it will depend on what hardware is in your device and you can find out what your firmware and hardware supports by enabling this feature in the developer options menu. When you're done with this FPS overlay right here, we can again go back into the developer options screen, find that show refresh rate toggle again, and simply turn it off to disable this overlay. So that is how you can find out what the max refresh rate your smartphone display is capable of in the phone that you're currently using. There are some instances where an application itself is able to force the phone to switch to a lower refresh rate, but for the most part, you can find the max FPS your hardware is able to achieve by following the steps in today's video.